Okay, so I'd already kind of started, but I just primed my eyes with um, some concealer. Um, started doing the purple blend and took a few layers because I didn't want to make it like too much and then I couldn't blend it because I'd started with the wrong brush and I didn't want to dirty another because I just cleaned all my brushes. So. <laughs> so I just kept going with this Maybe Real Techniques one. Um, you'll see that I, like, I do one part of the eye and then I'll do the exact same one to the other at the same time just because I've not got a very good memory so I'll forget what I've done next or what I was doing and then the eyes will end up looking completely different which literally always happens um, and even then, even when I do this technique they still look different so yeah, it's not the best thing to do but just to try and make them even and then make sure one's not as pigmented as like if one's like not as purple and then the other one's really purple like what happened here so I had to keep adding purple in and I was surprised this didn't stain my eyes because I packed on like half of the pan I was just using the Stacey Marie Carnival palette the XL one You can actually see me talking to myself, that is so embarrassing. Um, then I just took the light, a really light blue, I was going to use the um, navy one, but I prefer, I thought this looked so much nicer, it's kind of got a wee green tint to it as well. Um, yeah, so I just packed this on and blended it into the purple. And I actually really liked it, so I think, I'll do, without like the yellow and the pink, I would definitely wear this out, like, to just if I was wearing like a purple dress or something maybe not fan it out as much but I did really like it and um, that's me just packing in the yellow I did do a little bit of the pink you didn't really see me do it but I kind of took the purple a bit too high up anyway so I just that's me going in with a wee bit of pink again Um, yeah I didn't want to put in too much pink but I just blended it all in Um, then I got just a pencil eyeliner um, during the top of my lash line and then I used the blue from the brush to put the blue on my eyelid I just put that over the top and it actually worked really well but I went and ordered a navy blue one because I realised that is, there's a lot of eyeliners I don't have in my kit so just so I have it for next year and then I just cleaned up all that this took a while because I was using a really weird wipe and it was just like smearing it across my face, so yeah. <laughs> that's me going in again and stressing out about it <laughs> because it was just going everywhere. And then I got my soap brows. I actually got up to start looking for soap. Um, I don't know why I done it after this. I done it after my foundation, apparently. I don't know why I showed you and then didn't do it. Um, I went, got up and started looking for soap and I was like, what am I doing? I was like, I've just bought the soap brow thing because Kian told me to get it. So, yeah, that's me using that. Some concealer. Um, I didn't put a lot on because the foundation was pretty full coverage, but I just had some, like, wee dark bits under my eyes from the foundation. Then I used the banana powder from Revolution, which smells like actual bananas. Um, just set my full face. I didn't want to use white because... I thought that would look like too pretty so I thought a wee bit of yellow would look make it look more 80s just with more colour in the face and then I finally used the soap right I think I was just letting the setting spray in it like sink in it Um, yeah and I just brushed that through my brows I've got really uneven brows so oh and this is where the blush comes in this is just a joke how much I put on because I started using my MAC one and I was like, right, I'm using far too much of this. It's quite expensive. <laughs> um, so then I changed to like a bronzer from Too Faced, like a bronzer blusher. Um, yeah, put some blue left over under the eye just after I powdered everything. Blended that into the corner. Fixed that outer, just blending everything in, just... Wasting the time so I didn't have to go out my walk. <laughs> and that's me just filling in my brows, just to be sparse, but it's just with um, be thin lines. Why am I talking to myself? <laughs> I 
keep seeing myself talk but then I've not realised that I've actually done that and that's me adding more blush just I used a few different it's in my product I used a liquid one as well just to really make it pop and then I used actually some um two shades from the Sesame Carnival palette for that colour I've just got because I just really wanted them my mum came in and I could hear her from the back going they need to be more pink and I was like oh god okay so I've done that because I couldn't find a blush that was bright enough just to add a mascara Then lashes, I just put the tiniest wee set of lashes on, it was just because I've got really wee eyes and this look would just get lost if I didn't put lashes on. And then I put like a ready pink, it's from MAC, it says it's red but um, I thought it looked quite pink when I looked at it and then so I just put a pink gloss over the top, like a really pinky gloss, um, loads of gloss and got all over my teeth and it was just really gooey. Um, so then I put the lashes on, they're just quite little, it was just little Ardell ones I think, just wee wispy ones. I decided to put on last minute because it just didn't look right without them. But you can hardly tell they're even there. Um, yeah, so that's me done I think. Yep, yeah, that's me done.